Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Mary. We are going to be taking a deep dive into our next part for alcohol markers that are affordable. Hoping to be able to buy a full set of markers and not break the bank. I'm going to go into a lot of detail throughout this video. On the screen you'll see some timestamps where you can jump around to the area that interests you the most or watch through the video for tips and tricks along the way. So let's get into it. So I have a few brush tip that we are going to look at and I have a few of the bullet tip with the chisel. So we're going to go into great detail with all of these brands, but just a quick overview. On the brush side, I have the Illustrator markers by Spectrum Noir. I have the Ohuhu markers for um, brush tip, by uh, the art markers here. And then I have the master markers. Um, in the brush tip as well. Over on the bullet nib side, I have a tri blend from Spectrum Noir, Arteza. This is a Parku art marker, Nuvo alcohol marker, and Ohuhu bullet tip. So these are the different brands that I'm going to take a look at. Of course, as with anything, there are pros and cons to each and every review that I do, so I'm going to try to include absolutely everything I can think of um, to help you make the best decision for yourself. So that is what I'm going to try to hit on today. So let's get started with the brush side of the house. Most of these I bought myself. Some I reached out to companies, some companies reached out to me. So um, all working together in every scenario here, I'm trying to bring as many as I can. Note that there are still many, many markers on the market that I am not reviewing, but these are the ones that I'll touch on today. Okay, so the first thing is the Illustrator by Spectrum Noir. When I reached out to the company, I asked them to send me blendable colors, um, at least one color in three blendable shades so that I could show the, you guys what that looks like. So I do have some pinks to show you. Um, but that, and then they sent me some like six piece sets, which I don't really find are great for me to show you how to blend them. However, I'm going to show you um, the markers in detail. I'm going to pull out some 80 pound Nina Solar White cardstock for this demo. So with the Spectrum Noir, they are shaped, these are the, again the brush tip, they're shaped like the old Spectrum Noir markers. So here on this side we have a bullet nib, this is a very very small bullet nib. And just to give you some comparison to a different bullet nib, um, there's the difference between the two. Can you see on that? So there's quite a bit of a difference here in the size. Okay, so the, other, the one on the right is a Parku art marker. And then, of course, the Spectrum Noir is on the left. So, the good thing about a small, tiny bullet nib like that is if you don't use it mostly for full coverage, you're just trying to get into some of those really tiny pieces, it works really nicely. So, um, they, they go on very nice, but that is the bullet nib. We're not excited about the bullet nib, though. We're excited about this here, brush nib. So, right here, we have a brush nib for the Spectrum Noir um, Illustrator Marker. Now, one of the things from my, what I'm told, I'm not a expert brush user, but what I'm told is one of the features of a brush that's so great is the flicking technique and that you can get kind of that feathering um, on your projects. So you kind of start with the thick at the bottom and then you flick up and it's um, supposed to help with blending and it gives you a really nice feather look. So it looks like I'm able to get that pretty nicely on there. Um, so that's a plus. The marker color is good. Uh, you get nice, good saturation. This is the uh, Poppy and DR2. And so, yeah, it means a really nice marker. I'm noticing that it's uh, pretty it's pretty flexible, which can be good, can be bad, but it's not as flexible as the Master Marker. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, so, yeah, so this is the Spectrum Noir Illustrator Marker. The next one I'm going to show is the Master Marker. Now, the Master Marker is a longer barrel. I've reviewed these in the past. I have the full set of these, and I believe it's a 160 set, which is a full range of colors. They're, it's amazing um, as far as the color choices go. But this is a, ch a chisel and a um, brush on the end. Now, I've noticed that, and I've gotten a lot of feedback from people who've bought the Master Markers, the Master Markers sort of fray at the ends. Um, because it's not the same type of tip as a long-lasting one, which can be problematic for sure. Bring this in a little bit. 
uh, because you know you buy a set of markers you want it to last so um, that's important now I'm gonna try I'm gonna do the again this has the chisel on the other end not the bullet where the spectrum noir had the bullet and the brush um, you can get that thickness that looks exactly the same I did nothing new <laughs> attempting to make it thinner um, and then this is the brush one it's very they're very juicy markers I've always appreciated them for that but with that comes potential bleeding outside your image so you want to be very careful with that um, and not go too close to the edge and not let it saturate too much so on the page here if you can see it's a little bit more of an oval and less a teardrop the teardrop is going to be more beneficial to your flicking technique so that it does not it's not as conducive see you can see it's very hard for me to get that thin thinner bit at the top with these master markers so if you in comparison we can definitely see there's a difference there okay moving on to the ohuhu brush tip marker um, this is a great option I've been using these for a while I can tell you they come with the chisel and the brush so we'll take a look at that again as well so we have our I picked a darker color sorry um, they have the chisel on this end and then the brush on this end indicated by a little gray line which on this one there is no indicator real quick but there is a picture um, there's a picture and an indicator on the ohuhu marker so that's kinda cool there is no indicator on the master marker and there's a subdued picture so you kinda have to squint to look for it but it's there alright back to the ohuhu so here I'm gonna take out the brush nib as well let me pull out these brushes so we can kinda see what we're looking at here as far as that goes so for these three you can see that um, the Ohuhu and the Spectrum UR are pretty similar this is a little bit more exposed on the Ohuhu but then this one right here and yeah, they look pretty similar so um, yeah so there's that alright let's see how the Ohuhu one um, performs okay so we're going for that flicking technique I'm told it's like feather you want to be super light with it and not heavy I'm not again I should probably have like a Copic user showing you how to do that but I can see that it's a lot more like this first demo here um, when we press it down do we get a teardrop yep we get more of a teardroppy and less of a perfect oval so that's going to be beneficial when you're trying to do uh, those types of techniques if you are a brush fan. So for the brush tips, Spectrum Noir Illustrator, I found these for um, 12 of them you can get. In, uh, the price would be $31.52. And the downside to this is for the, 31, for the 12 set is that when they sell them, they kind of sell them like in color theme meaning brights or pastels but that's not really helpful when you're trying to blend stuff so I would rather buy them uh, one at a time for say like like a blue set or a red set or something like that so just keep in, keep that in mind that you're really not going to be able to buy one 12 set and get a whole lot of blendability with them but we have 12 a 12 set is 31.52 um, that puts them at 266 a marker for master markers, you can get either an 80 set, you can get two 80 sets separately, but if you combine them, you're probably going to save about $40, I think it was. So for the full set of 160, it's $149.96, and that's about 93 cents a marker. For the Ohuhu brush tip, you can get them in a 48 set for $34.99, a 72 set for $69.99, or a 24 set in the skin tones for $29.99 but I did notice some of the skin tones were repeated from the 72 set so you want to keep those things in mind if you're going to purchase uh, so that will put these at 72 cents a marker for the 48 set 97 cents a marker for the 72 set and 124 for the skin tones so um, we're kind of seeing that the lower end markers are comparable in price but the Spectrum Noir Illustrator, that's quite a jump in my opinion, uh, 266 a marker.
So these are the only three that I had to review. There are others that are recommended on Blick. I believe they have their own brand. Um, that's been recommended by some colorists. But again, you're going to be creeping up into that you know, $1.50 to $3 range per marker. So just to keep that in mind. Okay, everybody, I have breaking news that is now coming in. I just saw that Ohuhu had the 120 set of brush tip markers available, just released um, for $99.99 for the 120 set. This is amazing. <laughs> I've been waiting for that 120 set forever and a day, but just wanted to share the news. Okay, so that is uh, it on the brush tip. Let's move on to the uh, bullet tip. I'm going to start with kind of the coolest concept, I would say, is the tri-blend. So this is the set that um, Spectrum Noir sent me to try. Um, so I don't have bold, vibrant colors, but so I have more like this flesh tone or neutral color palette to play with, which I think is super pretty, but um, I was hoping I should have just specified that. <laughs> I want red. Okay, so, but I'm going to play with this. Now, the cool concept about this is you have um, your light, medium, and dark all in one marker, which is cool because it takes the guesswork out of what colors go with what, which I have found that Spectrum Noir in the past has been difficult. Now, the downside to this set is that you don't get an option for another side, so there's no chisel side that comes with this. It's only going to be the bullet tip for your marker. Um, but again, you can look at these as, you know, all inclusive. So essentially I could get, um, here we have a set of um, full 18 colors, right? Because there's six times three, it's math I can do. We got 18, right? So right here we have, um, we can start off with the lightest color. Now I am going to, I switched papers from Nina 80 to Accent Opaque 80, um, which I find very comparable to that, and it's a fraction of the price. So we're gonna play with this paper right here for this review on the bullet tips. So right here we have your three different colors. I'm gonna show you the three different colors because I think that's kind of cool. As you can see, then you gotta flip it around and you use the other. So there's the three color blend. Uh, so you can see kind of a difference. I'll bring this up for you. So there you can see, okay? Okay, so um, the Spectrum Noir barrel is the same as the uh, past barrel. Uh, I didn't notice any issues with the caps coming off, which is definitely a plus. Uh, some of these markers do have a little bit more of an issue with the caps coming off, so it seems like they really did put a little bit, you know, attention to these barrels. The old Spectrum Noir the set I had was really difficult to get the caps off and then like I mentioned half the barrel would come apart so didn't have that or notice that problem with these so that is the um, Spectrum Noir Tri Blend which I think is a really cool option here we have the art marker Parku from Parku and um, these are again bullet nib so again we have a chisel side right here um, that's going to give us an option to do some thick lines and then we have our bullet, which is going to give us the option to do thinner. And you, let me see if I can try. You can try to thicken it up a little bit with the pressure. So um, the Parku art markers, these are great. I feel like there's a, I did a video recently on coloring with these. I think they are an excellent cheap option. We'll get to pricing in just a second. But um, these are really good. I like how it's almost like a triangle shape but rounded. So that is the Parku art marker. The next one is the Arteza um, Everblend art marker. I'm, I love these. I have the full set of all. I have the 120 colors. I have the skin tone. I have the gray tone. I think they're wonderful markers. So I've found them to be very good quality marker. So here we have again the chisel tip, and um, you can see really nice smooth on the paper, and then we have our bullet tip. Okay, so again, uh, these are less rolly. They kind of have to think about it before they roll, <laughs> before they roll. So which is good because if you're putting your stuff down, you don't want it rolling all over the place. Next up, we'll look at the Nouveau marker. 
This one is a very different shape. The smaller tip right here is going to be your bullet tip and then you have the larger end which makes it extremely easy to choose which is which side is which. Um, so that's really nice but we'll just swatch these out uh, a little bit here. You get a really thick, a really thick, this is thicker than the um, art marker as far as that goes and then we have that. Let me label these so that we're not wondering. Okay, so so yeah, so this is the Nuvo. They come in sets of three for the Nuvo, which pros and cons, we'll get into that in a second. And then lastly, we have the Ohuhu markers. These ones, I always find that I can get a thinner uh, chisel on. I guess I could make a thick one if I wanted to, right? So there's the thick on the Ohuhu, and then we have our bullet as well. Bullet is very thin. You can see in comparison to the Parku, this is a much thinner bullet. Um, so yeah, so that's that's good too. I've used the Ohuhu for a very long time. I've only ever purchased Ohuhu with my own money. I've, I've never been sent them, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's talk about price here. So starting with this Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend right here, we have one marker for $4.99 but it's technically three markers which will bring it to 166. But is it really? Because I'm not getting the, the other side of the marker. So this is a weird one to price out, just being fully honest. Um, but if we're talking solely on using the bullet tip, then you would be, basically this is three markers. You can buy them in packs of six for $29.95. So comes out to about the same price. So 166 per marker. All right, moving on to the Parku. So for this Parku set, there are 80 to the set. You also get a silver and gold opaque marker. Not meant for blending, but for highlights, which I thought was really cool. Um, and then, but you don't get a blending marker, no zero. So if you use a blender a lot, and this is the only set you're gonna buy, you're not gonna get one in here, but you can buy a blender separately from those companies that sell them individually. Something to consider. For 80 of the Parku art markers, you're going to get, it's going to be $36.99 as of today, which is $0.46 cents a marker. This is extremely affordable, uh, $0.46 cents a marker. What does it lack? Well, it's an 80 set, so it's going to lack some of those pastel colors, the lighter colors for blending, but I still think it is a very comprehensive group of colors. Moving on to the Arteza. So Arteza Everblends, they come in 120 set for roughly usually goes for $119.99. You can get them on Amazon as well as the main site. They usually, well, if you're Prime, there's going to be free shipping. And also Arteza, if you sign up for a mailing list, you usually get 15% off, 10 to 15% off, so you can apply to it. They also go on sale a lot. So that ends up to be about a dollar a marker. They sell them in the 60 set as well, which I would not recommend. I didn't think that that was comprehensive enough. The 120 is great. The grays and the skin tones, if you buy the 120 set, you probably do not need to buy the grays. There are a lot, most of these grays are in the 120 set. But however, the skin tones, there's only about three that repeat. So the skin tone is, I highly recommend that set. Um, and then again with the 120. So that's about a dollar a marker. Moving on to Nuvo. Nuvo, you buy these Nuvo markers in sets of three. So for a set of three, they're $5.99. That would bring them to $2 a marker. Moving on to the Ohuhu markers. So these are the ones that I've been playing with the most, the ones I had the most experience with. They all, they come in so many amounts, which is great for your choice to fit your budget. Um, you can get this full amount on their website directly or Amazon, you can find most of these. They round about average 50 cents a marker in no matter what configuration you purchase them. Okay, average. The most that you can get is the 200 set, which I do now have. So here's the 200 set. I'm, some of these I can show you the full sets because I have them easily available. Some of them I do not. So this is the full set of 200. I love this packaging. They come in um, dividers, so you have six different compartments. I put my markers in this way. This is not how they come. So I put them in based on my color charting that I did. And they have this nice swanky bag here, which I love. So 
Ohuhu is, um, again, they're, they come in all these choices of size. So that's the pricing for these bullet tip markers. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick some colors, except for the tri-blend. All the other ones are going to be in the same color family. And I am going to color, uh, stamp out something, and we're going to color it in with all the different types of markers to see what kind of blending we get. All right, let's start with some coloring. So I'm going to be doing some accent opaque 80 pound cardstock coloring. And I did a review on this. It's a fantastic, affordable cardstock. It's works just as good as the expensive stuff at a fraction of the price. And it's a lot brighter white. So I'm going to start with my Nuva markers here. And um, I'm going to tell you, honestly, I was not that impressed with every single one of the blends that you get with the Nuva markers. I'm using the red blend here, which worked just fine. But there was a few of the packages that I got, because they come three to a pack, remember, that they did not blend well together. They didn't work well together. I was curious why they were even in the same package. So I wanted to make sure that I shared that. Um, and I would be hoping for that price, which we'll talk at the end, because these are one of the more expensive um, bullet nibs for the pricing, they should be all perfectly blendable in my opinion, <clears throat> because you have to compare price versus what you're getting. And those are not the cheapest bullet nib markers on the market. So I would not recommend the Nuvo. Um, Arteza, love Arteza. I love Arteza company. I love the markers. I love the variety of colors that you get through the, uh, 120 set and then the skin tones. So um, I talk a little bit more again about that during the pricing segment of this, so I won't repeat myself. The blends are really uh, good together. They, of course, swatch out your markers. I say that probably 15 gazillion times <laughs> throughout this video, um, but you want to swatch out your markers. But yeah, really happy with the Arteza. I think they're good, and I like how big the bullet nib is because it's not a brush, but it's not tiny like some of the other nibs. So that's a good thing. Parku, Parku reached out to me and s asked me if I would look at their markers. And I did. And I did a separate video on these as well. So you can see a lot more coloring with them. But I was very impressed with these markers. For the pricing that, you, that you're getting, this is a fantastic set for anybody to start um, alcohol marker coloring with, but even children. Because you know, I want my kids when, especially Adi, she's really into coloring. And so I want her to be able to actually maybe play with a little bit of color theory, a little bit of blending, sh shading and shadowing and things like that. And I did not want to break the bank. Well, these were given to me. So that was, that worked out nicely for, for us, but um, I wouldn't want to break the bank to give my child that opportunity. So these are really affordable. Okay. Moving on to the Ohuhu. These are my long-term friend and companion. I've had these for a while now. I've been using them probably about the same length of time as I've been using the Arteza. They are, I get this question a lot, truly a lot. Would I, which one would I choose between the Arteza or the Ohuhu? And that is a very difficult question to answer. The only thing, if I'm splitting hairs as far as which one works better, I would say they're the same. They work the same. I can travel easier with the Ohuhu. That's all I could say about that. Okay, um, Spectrum Noir Tri Blend. I didn't ask for a red, so I'm going to stick in with this, what they gave me. Um, and I thought that the Tri Blends worked really well together. I can imagine the darker the colors, the more saturation you're going to get. I only had this, these like five or six to test out. And um, they were light neutral colors, so they didn't really give me a lot of pop. Um, but they were good. So, I mean... I, you know, they're good, but I can't say too much more on the tri blends. I like the concept, but I don't have a lot to test out. Master markers. Again, I like the master markers um, for a lot of reasons. I think that you get a huge variety of colors. So, well, I mean, it's 120, so you're going to get almost the full gamut. Um, so I was impressed by that. If you buy the two sets of them, again, they're very juicy marker. Um, so you have to be careful with bleeding outside the lines and the tips have been known to fray. I have not had that much of an issue with those markers, but I don't use them all that much. I mean, I have so many alcohol markers, so I don't use all of them all the time. Um, but yeah, so good marker, probably not my first choice. 
the Ohuhu brush of all these brush ones that I tested out here, Master Marker Ohuhu and uh, Spectrum Noir Ohuhu for sure, I would make my recommendations. Normally, I don't recommend strongly because um, everything, every option works differently for everybody. So it depends on what you're looking for. But for the Ohuhu brush, for the price, for the now that they came out with the 120 and for the way that they work and just the brush itself, they're very comparable to a Copic marker. So I would highly recommend the Ohuhu brush if you have to have the brush. Spectrum Noir Illustrator, great marker. Very impressed with the marker. Not impressed with the price. Um, and I still think they're much more affordable than a Copic. So again, that's a great thing. But they're not as affordable as the Ohuhu. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, so um, that's the coloring demo. Okay, so let's go over some of the details of these markers. So I'm going to try to hit all the popular questions and topics that I get regarding alcohol markers. Uh, the first one being refills. So of the, I'm going to pull in my brush markers as well. And this is a brush. Okay, so we have brush markers on the left and uh, bullet tip on the right. So of the brush markers, the only refills um, for the, out of the Spectrum Noir Illustrator, Master Marker, and Ohuhu brush is the Illustrator. So this does come with, uh, as far as I can find, refills that you can purchase for that. Uh, my standard statement on refills is if I really want a refill badly enough, I can probably find a comparable color in another alcohol brand to supplement that. So that's just... I, that's my take. It's not an important thing to me, but it very well may be to you. So this does, Spectrum Noir does offer refills. Uh, Master Marker and Ohuhu do not. For the bullet tip, um, Ohuhu, no. Tri-Blend, yes, because that is Spectrum Noir. Um, the Arteza sells packs of four refill marker, or not refills, but separate markers pack of four of the same color. I've offered that feedback to them that that's not really the best way to sell them. Nobody's really, not nobody, most people are not refilling or replacing their markers four at a time. Um, and then Ohuhu brush, or sorry, Art uh, Parku um, art marker, no refill. Okay, so that's the take on the refills. The next thing is um, blender pens. So you can find blender pens, the zero markers, in uh, all of these sets except the Parco. The Parco does not come with a blender pen. You can, if that's important to you and you are interested in the Parco and that totally is like a deal breaker for you, well you can buy a zero blend marker in singularly in other brands. Uh, I know Copic sells it for the price of a Copic marker, but um, I'm sure you can probably find zero blends elsewhere. The okay. next thing is um, the odor. So this is an important question I get. Are they really, do they have a strong odor? This is a very difficult question to answer because the smell is like taste. It's all personal, um, I wouldn't say preference necessarily. No one prefers to smell these markers, but it's all what your body reacts to. So I, when I color with each and every one of these, I don't really notice a smell unless I'm doing it for an extended period of time, I guess. I would say they all have a slight odor to them. Um, so I, that's the best way I can answer that question. I'm sorry, I don't have any more detail than that. I don't have a smell -o meter <laughs> uh, This is a ne the next important thing is the lids. How easily do the lids come off? It's important because some people have trouble with their hands. So you don't, last thing you want to do is sit down at your craft desk and stress out because you can't open your markers. So I'm going to just do a demo of opening and closing the markers. I find that this is the Spectrum Noir Illustrator are probably medium to difficulty as far as um, pulling the cap off. Um, so there's that. The master markers are come off very easily. Uh, I would say those are very simple to remove. The Ohuhu markers um, same. I feel like, well, probably easy to medium as far as that goes. By the way, this is all very formal type of gauging and testing, <laughs> measuring. Medium to hard, 
easy and easy to medium. This is our gauge. Okay. Um, art mark, or sorry, this is Ohuhu. Ohuhu I find to be extremely easy to come across. This is the Ohuhu little one. Bullet nib. Tri blend. I was really impressed with the tri blend. I thought they were very easy to open. If you are a longtime Spectrum Noir user, you know that the old setup of the Spectrum Noir, you used to pull apart the entire barrel. And you'd have like half of this piece out as well when you're trying to open up those markers. So that was very frustrating. So glad they changed that up. So tri blends, very easy to open. The Arteza, I find, are very easy to open as well. That's one thing that I do like about these markers. Um, for the Arteza, I, I don't have any issues with that as well. And then the Parku, hit or miss. Some are easy to open, some are more difficult. So this one seems pretty easy. I've had a couple in the stash of the markers that were a little bit more challenging. Okay, so that's opening the markers. Okay, so I forgot to have my Nouveau markers throughout this whole first part of these demos. So I deleted out all the explicitives that I said off screen and uh, I grabbed my marker and I'm going to show you quickly some of the things that I talked about with the other markers with the Nouveau. Okay, getting the cap off of the Nouveau markers. Nouveau marker caps, they come off fairly easily. So that is a plus for the Nouveau as well. Nouveau does not come with a refill, uh, as far as I know, so um, you'd have to purchase them all three to a pack. They don't sell them individually either. You can get them from Tonic Studio um, and uh, around a couple other places, a couple like card making, scrapbooking places. Okay, let's talk about color charting because you know how important this is to me. <laughs> I have all of the markers I showed in the video are going to have a coordinating color chart over on the site that I'll list below. You can go head over there and they will be for a very small purchase. Um, I was getting inundated with emails uh, requesting color charts previously and I just can't keep up with that amount of traffic so I have to switch to this platform. So um, I hope you find them useful. I find them to have changed the game for me for coloring. Also I will add the uh, Ohuhu 120 brush chart as well which was not featured in the video and then lastly because I have so many alcohol markers now I'll be de-stashing so you'll see those listed on the site as well if you don't see it listed that means they've already been purchased thank you so much for hanging out with me I hope this was useful I'd love to hear your comments and feedback below and final note just remember you do not have to break the bank to enjoy a creative artistic craft we'll see you in the next video bye bye